Let's go ahead and check in with Rob right now to see how things are going with our forecast. A foggy, gloomy start to this Wednesday, Rob. You said it. It is foggy out there all over the place. It's going to take a while to get through that fog, so expect it to linger. Give yourself a little extra time to get to your destinations. Be careful. You know the vermin are going to be out there lurking. It's warm. Temperatures are near 70 to get started, and I think we're going to see a lot of spots that get up over 80 today before some of the showers do their part to cool things down. We'll likely keep the temperatures up a bit overnight tonight and still some of that muggy, but tomorrow we should sweep the whole mess away. Clearing happens hopefully before lunchtime tomorrow, and it should turn out to be a lovely day for our Thursday. Now it's a different looking setup across the Gulf Coast and the Southeast today compared to yesterday, but there's still a lot of those ingredients in place for some big showers and big storms. So even though we're not seeing watches and warnings off to our West already, doesn't mean new ones won't pop up this afternoon, this evening. So please keep checking in with us. We will have updates. It is 70 right now at Camilla and at Bainbridge and at Quincy and at Tallahassee 71 in Valdosta 73s for Perry and for Live Oak. A little cooler for us in Thomasville. We're at 66. Breeze has been trying really hard for the past couple of hours from the south and southwest. Generally less than 10 miles per hour, so not not enough to really limit that fog, but maybe enough in a couple of spots to make things a little bit better. We're still at one half mile visibility for Quincy and for Thomasville. It's up to one mile in Moultrie. It's up to three miles in Tallahassee, so some small improvements, but that fog is going to be real thick and likely well past nine o'clock this morning. I even see a little bit of drizzle, maybe a couple of light showers off to the west. It's not much in our area yet, and I think the better chances to get wet are going to come much later this afternoon when the next round of energy pivots through the southeast. That's what will likely trigger not only some showers, but some storms too. Now it's a different setup today. I don't expect one big line that moves through the area with pretty impressive coverage like we saw yesterday. Instead, these are going to be more haphazard, scattered pop up showers and storms. Some of them certainly can be strong, especially maybe in some of the areas that get some sunshine and really get those temperatures going, which will only destabilize the air even farther. And it still does look like the timing for all this is for the ride home and maybe before dark. Now, once we get past that, like yesterday, the fuel goes away, the showers, they start to diminish in intensity, but I think a lot of clouds, a lot of moisture and some more of that fog lingers early tomorrow until the breeze takes over from the west and northwest. That should sweep the whole mess away, clear us out, and I do see some brighter, drier, better on the way for Friday and the weekend. Could be a little breezy still on Friday too, by the way. Now to the north, we've got that enhanced risk from the Storm Prediction Center. What that means is there's a better chance than 50-50 that there's enough ingredients in place to trigger some of those bigger storms. So we'll certainly keep our eyes peeled for that. I think some wind gusts, I think some hail are the more likely threats today but I can't rule out an isolated tornado either. Most of us are in that slight risk, and that's more like that 50-50 chance for some of those bigger storms, so we certainly have things to watch this afternoon. On the Gulf, small crafts use some caution. The winds out of the south and southwest may be as high as 22 knots. The sea's like three to six feet. This morning, it's 60s and 70s, more about the fog than anything else. This afternoon, the showers, the storms, I still think temperatures are going to get up over 80 in many spots. Tonight, it's low 60s, and the showers linger. The clouds stubborn. But we do boot all that away tomorrow. And when we do, look how nice for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, look how cool for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The daytime highs low to mid-70s and the morning lows be back down near 40.